What's up guys? This is Andre Allen of Andre's Flavor. I just got to see the first show of Patrick Ian Folk's The Skinny. Oh my god. This is an amazing movie. Sex, drugs. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. I mean, this is a movie that you must see. Again, if you are in DC, if you are in Atlanta, if you are in Alabama coming up, New York, Chicago, wherever you are, and this movie is coming. Please, please, please support this movie. It's only in theaters for one week. One week only. Please support the movie. The storyline is amazing. It is great. Once again, the movie is about five friends who come from, graduated from Brown University, come to New York City after a year after graduation to reconnect and mayhem happens. And I watch the movie. The hour and 45 minutes. It's worth the $11 of a movie ticket. Support, 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 so that we can bring more stories to life and hey, make a difference in this community we so love. All right, so talk to you later. Peace. So you just came from seeing the screening of the skinny. What were your thoughts? We actually Ladies love the movie. We thought it was you very are funny. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, we thought the grittiness and the reality of it was amazing. It was very like true to life, in your face. Yeah, it was like it was a, it was like watching Wolverine yeah. at a real prize. Yes, exactly. The gays go through at a prize. So, what was your best part of the movie? Oh, um, cheers! You got the part. Recommend the movie? Yes. yes. Definitely All right. recommend it. Highly recommend it. Alright. Alright, well thanks for talking to us. Anytime. Catch the team Dot Haley. Right, there you go. <laughs> Movies about HIV, movies about black gay people. You know, I I kind of I hate it when I admit that I cried at a movie. And the thing that kept going through my mind was the more, the more, the more. I mean, you know, we all are in this chase of love, and it's the risk we take, and the crazy risk we are willing to take for love. And it doesn't matter who we love. It doesn't matter how we love, as long as we love safely. And I think that you really captured that. So I'm just so very proud of you. I'm sure you're close out to <laughs> Thank you so much. I mean, uh, thank you, guys. Uh, I'll pass it to Patrick. Uh, I'll go to you know, respond to that, except thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Does anybody have any questions for, for folks up here? Yeah, who said I do? Okay. I heard. Raise your hand, please. I'm not mind reading. What's your question? Um, this question is for Patrick. We've seen you with a lot of things that you've done in the past, and including with this piece. What is the message that you're wanting to get out to the community as far as um, being an effective producer and gearing it directly and solely to us? So what is your general message that you want to get across at all, all your pieces? Um, <laughs> well, <laughs> I, I don't feel like this answer, but, um, you know, as an artist, I kind of like to let the work speak for itself, so I think the message you, whatever message you take from it is what message I intended, um, and I laced my projects with tons and tons of messages, so there's lots that you could draw from, so I just want people to enjoy, connect with it, enjoy the characters, hopefully see some of themselves and the people on the screen, and take something positive from the experience out into the world, so that's sort of my general mission, and I believe that as an artist, as long as one person is moved, appreciates, enjoys um, the work, then the, the 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 art is is a success. So it only takes one person. And is there one person in the room who liked it? Oh, yeah. 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 So Will you be showing this film during the International AIDS Conference here in July? Uh, 
I feel as though someone has reached out to me about that very <laughs> subject, and I think I said sure I'm down. Yeah. So uh, if they make it happen, <laughs> no, the coins are right. Then I'm, like, oh. I'm not doing this for charity. Sorry, but I have to make a living. I have a six-month-old baby to feed, so I gotta, I gotta, I got pampers to buy. Yeah. Well, speaking, which how much does it cost to make a film like this? I mean. I mean, it, you know, I, we scraped, I scraped it together with twigs and berries, but um, <laughs> it's not cheap to make movies, so yeah, it's definitely not cheap. <laughs> So were you able to get distribution? I mean, I'm going to the thing. This is the distribution. You're looking yeah. at it. This is, I am self-distributing self this movie, mm. so I have paid for this theater, and I need for you guys all, this is really important. There, there's no you know, PR machine behind us. I don't have money for that. I'm counting on each one of you to tell everyone you know at DC that this movie will be playing here until Thursday. And I need to get plus in these seats in order to continue doing what I do. So it's really important that your friends come tomorrow at 11 a.m., at 1 p.m., at 3, at 7.30, at 9.45, at midnight tonight, at midnight tomorrow night, at 11 a.m. again on Sunday and all day, and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 1, 3, 5, 7, 30, and 9, 45. I cannot stress that enough. Like, one of the scariest things that I've ever seen is to see that theater today at 1 o'clock and see, you know, not that many people in it. But I get it, it's a Friday, it's during the day, people have jobs and stuff, but I don't need to see that again. So I need you to tell everyone about this movie, because the other thing about it is, is um, this is completely grassroots, this is completely outside of the mainstream Hollywood system. So if if we come and support this movie this weekend, on Monday, this will be part of the story that everyone in Hollywood is talking about. What's this film that opened in DC and Atlanta and made all this money? They will pay attention, so. so Um, we have a website, skinnythemovie.com. We're on Twitter, skinny the, at Skinny the Movie, Facebook, and all that. Um, so people can tweet that out to the network. You can tweet that out and just let, certainly, the most important thing is DC and Atlanta all this week, this weekend and beyond. And then we'll open in more cities later, Dallas on the 20th, and Chicago, San Francisco, and Oakland on the 27th and Philly, Boston, and Detroit on the May 4th, and LA and New York on May 11th. We have a question in the front row. Uh, I came all the way up from uh, Jersey to see this because it's not showing in New York until later. And yes, I have been telling everybody to come see it. So um, I want to ask, was it set supposed to be set in Brooklyn or Harlem? <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's set in New York City. <laughs> we filmed in Harlem and Brooklyn, and yeah, we filmed all of Manhattan and Brooklyn. Okay, thanks. More question. Green shirt. I'm sorry, I don't know your name. Where did you get the inspiration for your characters? I mean, like, well, you... what was the last bit? I'm sorry. Where did you get the inspiration for your characters? Um. Um, my mind, my vast imagination. Um, <laughs> I, honestly, I just kind of create them. Um, I don't know how to describe it other than that. I mean, in past projects, I can say that friends inspire characters like Chance and Noah's Ark was based on, in a very vague way, my best friend is a college professor. But with the skinny, it really was, um, yeah, it was pretty much just my vibe of imagination. <laughs> in the hat? Yep. Famous, sorry. <laughs> oh, Sam, you're very famous. Oh, stop it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> First, I want to say hi, Magnus. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I love her. Because it was wrong the way he did you, okay? <laughs> so if you need a good man, I cook, I clean. <laughs> <laughs> so funny, I got some greens on the crock pot right now. <laughs> no, but Patrick, I just want to say, I, I believe it's safe to say we really admire and appreciate what you do. There are some artists in here we know as black gay people, and even the white people that are here, we know what our stories are as 
same gender, same gender loving people. So we thank you for having the courage to step up and share our stories as authentically as you do. I want to know what is, what are some of the things that you have to struggle against where you are uh, to produce your work or to write it? Like, and I don't know if you do it in Hollywood or not, but like with the producers and things. I think, I mean, honestly, the biggest struggle that I have now is, um, I ain't talking about this, but it's imperative. My friend says, if you know, well, whatever. Um, the, I, I, the biggest problem that I have now is money. Because I, you know, I'm at a point now where I know exactly what I'm doing. You know, I made this movie um, not by myself, but I wrote it, I directed it, I directed it, I produced it, I edited it, I did the music. So, you know, at this point, to a certain extent, I know what I'm doing. If you give me money, I could go and shoot a movie next week. Like, I can, like, I can do it. Money is the only obstacle, so, you know, I was able to raise a little bit of money, and then I had to, to basically spend all of mine to finish this film, so. I, but I can't keep doing that, obviously. Um, like, We need money for the battery. <laughs> um, so yeah, so you know, I can't keep doing that, but um, that's the biggest thing. And you know, I try to be smart about what I do and make sure that it's a sound business model and that it can make money and that the budget's low enough. So the, 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 the best thing that could happen to me is to meet somebody who just has a lot of money doesn't know what doesn't have a lot of places to put it and believes in the work that I do enough to 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 sort of help because there's a lot more where this came from. You know, we're planning three more skinny movies. There's another film I want to shoot this summer. I've got other projects that I want to do. So it's really just about getting the money and the support. Like I would love to have a PR company doing press that we have a review in the con in the in the Washington Post and we have this and that. But we don't have that, so we're just, you know, really struggling to make sure that people know about the movie and to come and support it. Um, but it's really about financial support. That's the biggest thing that I don't have right now. So how do you, you, know how do you do your background work for the treatment adherence, the post exposure prophylactic prophylactic? How did you do all of that kind of background? Did you have somebody that um, no, I just kind of, you know, the Google and <laughs> it's something I kind of know. I mean, I've been working with the Black Institute, our, you know, faithful partner for, they've been with me since practically everything I've done. Um, so I can always call up the head, who's a friend, the head of that organization and say, so I'm doing this storyline about this, what do you think? And then he'll, he'll tell me his professional opinions, but I still Google and, and then try to put it into some Still has an opinion? Wording. <laughs> it's some wording that's that's palatable for the audience, you know. I don't want to preach to them, but right. I just I do yeah, do my research so I know what I'm talking about. I thought, it was, I thought it was woven in really well, and I mean, it didn't make it feel like your head was about to pop open. Thank you. Know? Thank you. Do we have another question? We've got three minutes. All right. Yes, sir. Hi, I just want to thank you. I love the film, I love the characters, and I love the music. And we all need love, just like you said, and we're all looking for it. One question that I have, speaking of money, I'm really surprised that you didn't have CDs to pass out, because I think we all would have bought a CD. And that would have helped you. Well, I would not have minded doing that, but the theater wouldn't let us. So. <laughs> <laughs> that very handsome, tall, blonde, white man over there said, you know, we can't do that. But I, this, the music will be out digitally, so just remember it and then go buy it. You know, look for it in, um, I think the first single will be out in like a week and a half, and then the album will be out. So just make a point to find it. It'll be on iTunes, just keep looking for the skinny, and you know, all the songs you heard will all be there. Thank you for that. Say what? How long before the movie goes on TV? Uh, it should be on DVD by June, if not a little bit sooner. I think June. Because it'll be on Logo in, or a sort of sanitized version on Logo, I think in late July. <laughs> no, because it's very great. It's obviously you can't have all the sanitized version. that you saw, right? Okay, we have one more question all the way in the back, and I think that's going to be it. Um, hi. Hi. Um, I was going to question actually if that's okay 
One is the name. Where'd you come up with the skinny? If you could answer that. Skinny. Um, Besides you. Oh. I don't remember, honestly. Uh, it's not skinny. It's not skinny. It was just kind of like the, um, I don't know what the name. I wanted something catchy and it just popped into my mind and I like the idea of the skinny being sort of the, the story, what's going on, what's the tea, what's the 411, so that's kind of basically it. Honestly. And my second question is for the female up there, how hard, I met you last night, hello, how hard is it to get a <laughs> I was quite nervous, but as you saw, Shanika is gorgeous, so it wasn't that hard. But I was extremely nervous. I wanted to, I wanted it to be good and real, and we had like, we had so the time pressure was, you know, crazy. But you know, we tried to make it as good as we could. So I'm glad you like this. I cannot. I'm not even gonna practice for the second one. I'm sorry, guys. Can we just say one thing? Is that is that the film is really inspiring and really fun to watch? But I I'm, I know that all of us got the message, so I just want to make sure that we understand that greater than org and the fact that we all I can't say it enough. It sounds like a soundbite, but it is that we are greater than AIDS. So if we can all yeah. just hold on to that. But really, what it stands for is so much bigger than any of that. So I just want to kind of stress that, you know, and not even much brush over that because that's one of the most important, or in my heart, is one of the most important, you know, issues in the world right now. So we're greater than it. Greater Than AIDS campaign this year for the first time also sponsored National Women and Girls HIV AIDS Awareness Day. So Greater Than AIDS is expanding its brand and expanding the population that it serves. And I think that we all are greater than AIDS. Get tested, know your status, and get linked